In this video, we will perform a modal analysis using hypermesh and optistruct. This type of analysis is done to calculate the natural frequencies of vibration of any given structure in fixed or free condition. We will perform modal analysis of a fuel tank assembly to calculate its natural frequencies of vibration and mode shapes in empty as well as partially filled state. The modes of vibration in empty and partially filled state will be compared to calculate the change in natural frequencies of the fuel tank in these conditions. Let's get right into it. The link for the base model FEM file used in this video is provided in the description. Feel free to download the file and follow this video step by step to get a better understanding of the overall model analysis setup process. The first step is to assign a material and property to all the components in the model. Let's take a look at how this is done. Once the FEM file is imported in Hypermesh, two meshed components are visible in the model browser. Let's start by creating a new material. Provide a name to it. For the fuel tank, we will enter the mechanical properties of high density polyethylene. The unit system we are using for this analysis is Newton, millimeter, ton, second. Create another material for the metal caps and enter a name for it. Now we will input the default mechanical properties of steel. Let's create a new property. As we are using solid elements, switch the card image to P solid. Select the HDPE material in material selection box. Now duplicate this property for the metal caps and enter a new name. Change the material selection to steel. For the fuel tank, we will assign the HDPE property in selection box. For the cap component, select the steel property. The material gets assigned automatically. As the material and property assignment for all components is done, we will now create a tied contact between the fuel tank and the caps to hold them together during the calculation of vibration modes. Open the contact browser from model ribbon. Select the two components. Right click auto contact. Change the contact type to Tied. Create the contact. We can review the contact by pressing the Q key on keyboard. Let's switch the master and slave entity selections for this contact. And now we can start with the most important step in the modal analysis setup. We will create a virtual fluid volume inside the fuel tank to fill it partially. This process involves the creation of a local coordinate system at the base of the fuel tank. Let's start by creating some temporary nodes which will later be used to create this local coordinate system. Now switch back to the model browser. We will orient the model using the view cube such that the bottom side is visible on the screen. Now we will create some temporary nodes which will later be used to define the new coordinate system. We will use the nodes points creation tool from geometry ribbon. Press down control and select three corner nodes of this element to create a center node. Exit the tool. 
Now switch the selector to nodes and select this node. Right click and duplicate it. Using the move tool, we will translate this node by some distance in positive x direction. Select the same node again and duplicate it. Now we will translate this node by some distance in positive y direction. Open the systems panel from model ribbon. Select the create by node reference radio button. We will select this node as the origin and second node as x axis. The third node will define the xy plane. Enter any relative size value for visualization and create the system. Make sure that the z axis points towards the top side of the fuel tank assembly. If this is not the case, there will be issues while defining the internal fluid volume accurately. Switch the selector to elements and drag a box to select the bottom portion of the fuel tank. Make sure that all the elements in this region are correctly selected. Click I to isolate selected elements. This region will be filled with the fluid, in this case petrol. Using the search box, create a new load collector with card image M fluid. Assign the newly created coordinate system to this load collector. Enter the height of fluid column as 65 mm. This distance is approximately equal to the height of the portion of the fuel tank visible on the screen. Lastly, enter the density of petrol in units ton per millimeter cube. Right click on WSURF1 and select Create Edit. Provide a name to this surface. Change the selector to faces and select the internal wall of the fuel tank portion visible on the screen. These elements will be wetted by the petrol fluid. The virtual fluid mass filling some volume of the fuel tank has been defined. Let's change the idle mode selector to all and press A to show all the entities in the model. Now we can start setting up the boundary conditions for this modal analysis. The fuel tank assembly will be fixed in space at all mounting hole locations. We will request natural frequencies of vibration of the fuel tank in empty as well as partially filled state. This is done by referencing the virtual fluid mass in the modal analysis load step. Let's start by creating single point constraints at all required locations in the model. Create a new load collector to store single point constraints. Open the BCs tool from Analyze ribbon. Select the constraints option. Using the faces option, we will select the internal faces of all three mounting hole locations. With all six degrees of freedom checked, create the constraints. Search for the EIGRL card and add it to the model. This will be used to trigger the Langzos method for calculating modes of vibration for this assembly. We will request output for 10 routes in total.
create a new load step to define the normal modes analysis. Change the analysis type to normal modes. Select the SPC load collector in SPC field. Select the EIGRL load collector in method structural field. To include the influence of the virtual fluid mass during calculation of modes, select the fluid load collector in M fluid option. In the output option, we will enable the ESE option to request elemental strain energy results in H3D format for all components in the model. We will keep all other options as default. Now we will specify some additional run parameters for this analysis. Add the param card to the model. Let's set the check L option to no to disable element quality check before the solver run. For faster calculation of both wet and dry modes, we will set the VM opt option to 2. The model analysis setup is now complete. Let's export the solver deck in FEM file format using the file menu. Create a new folder to save the FEM file. Make sure to use underscore in place of space while entering all file names to avoid any errors during the solver run. Set export options to all and complete the export. Using the file explorer, we will copy the location of this FEM file. Now open the Altair Compute Console to submit this job to Optistruct Solver. Select the FEM file as input. We will select the out option to get real time out file display during the solver run. Apply these settings and launch the Optistruct solver. This may take some time to solve. The model analysis is now complete and we can view the results using Hyperview. Close the solver window and compute console. Let's create a new page in this same Hyperworks session. The client will be automatically switched to Hyperview. Now load the results. In the load model field, select the FEM file from working directory. In the load results field, select the corresponding H3D file. Apply the results. We will open the contour panel to visualize the eigen mode results. Apply the contours. We can change the legend type as per our requirement. To disable the amplified visualization, we will set the scale factor to 0. Now we can visualize all the mode shapes and see the eigenvalue contours on the screen. Notice that 10 separate modes of vibration are calculated for assembly with and without the virtual fluid mass.
we can compare the change in natural frequencies of vibration due to the fluid using these hazards. Similarly, we can also view the elemental strain energy contours to locate the critical areas in the model for each vibration mode. The results can provide a general idea about the vibrational characteristics of the fuel tank assembly in empty as well as partially filled state. To get a direct comparison between the partially filled and empty fuel tank mode results, we can check the out file from working directory. Initially, the frequencies of vibration without the consideration of fluid volume are calculated. Then the virtual fluid mass is added based on user inputs in the M fluid card. The new frequencies are calculated as follows. We have successfully performed model analysis of the fuel tank assembly and compared its vibrational characteristics in empty and partially filled conditions using hypermesh and OptiStruct. And this is how we can perform a model analysis using hypermesh and OptiStruct. If you like this video, please hit the red subscribe button and give a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Make sure to follow me on social media to stay updated about latest video content. Thanks for watching.